Madam Clerk. Thank you, Mayor. Board of Commissioners Public Meeting, Tuesday, January 16, 2018. The time is 7.59. Pursuant to the requirement of the Open Public Meeting Act, Chapter 231, Public Law 1975, notice of this meeting was published in the December 14, 2017 issues of the Nutley Sun and the Herald News and the Star Ledger. A copy of this notice has been posted on the Nutley Town Hall Bulletin Board, and a copy is on file in the Municipal Clerk's Office. Commissioner Rogers. Here. Commissioner Tucci. Here. Commissioner Evans. Here. Commissioner Petraco. Here. Mayor Scarpelli. Here. All present, Mayor. Madam Clerk, we're going to go right to the proclamation before the minutes, all right? Great. You guys waited long enough. We apologize. Um, we're very happy to have the uh, Nutley High School Raider Marching Band with us tonight, uh, and they did a great job down in Florida at the Tax Slayer Gator Bowl and um, winning down there and coming home with $10,000. So we're very proud of you and uh, we have this proclamation that I'm going to read. Whereas the 2017 Nutley High School Raider Marching Band enjoyed a highly successful season that culminated in the band's invitation to compete and perform at various Tax Slayer Gator Bowl activities in Jacksonville, Florida, and whereas the Raider Band was one of only 11 bands from across the country invited to participate in the Tax Slayer Gator Bowl performances, and whereas the Raider Band competed against two other bands in the Contest of Champions Field Show Competition on December 28, 2017, where it won first place overall and caption award for best music, percussion, color guard, marching and maneuvering, and overall general effect, and whereas the Raider Band earned a grand prize of $10,000 and the honor of a solo performance on its field show Ascent during the Gator Bowl pregame program and also performed with the other high school bands during the game's pep rally and halftime program. And whereas the Nutley High School Raider Marching Band was led by John Maiello, band director, Vincent Vicarello, assistant band director, and also received administrative support from Dr. Julie Glazer, superintendent of schools, Dr. James Riley, district coordinator of fine and performing arts, and principal Dennis Williams. And now for therefore be resolved that the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley, County of Essex, State, New Jersey, hereby commends and congratulates the members of the Nutley High School Raider Marching Band and staff for their exceptional success at the Tax Slayer Gator Bowl and for representing themselves, Nutley High School, and the entire Nutley community with such distinction through their talent, hard work, and determination. We congratulate you. Commissioners, would you like to say a couple of words before I uh, turn it over to Mr. Carnicella? Commissioners? Sure. Sure, I'll start. Um, we don't want to be remiss. We want to congratulate you again, all right, because this is a repeat performance of, of capturing uh, this championship and getting uh, this the additional funding that I'm sure will go right back into the, the band program. Uh, you guys are awesome. All right, you make us proud every time you pick up those instruments and then you start playing. Uh, there's just not enough we can say to tell you how proud of you we are and how we want you to continue to do this. And we hope to see you back here next year so we can do this again. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> I'll just add uh, briefly, you know, no one does this alone. so. Uh, you know, congratulations to all of you for your fine work. It's great to for to have you bring home Nutley Pride, uh, which we're so so very very proud of. I congratulate all the parents as well because your dedication and support to allow your students to engage in these activities. I know there's a financial obligation to that as well. So so just congratulations to all of you. And as Morrow said, we are very proud. Bring home the Nutley Pride. Thank you. You're not only known in this state, but you're known nationwide and perhaps around the world. One of the benefits of having such a great group of young people like yourselves and the parents in this township is that you've become an anchor for this community. You become a drawing card for people to move here and to get their children involved in something as great as this. 
and that's something that we'll all be proud of for not just today and in the past, but many years to come. So I want to congratulate you. It really makes me really proud that I live here and that I'm a commissioner here and I'm your friend. Thank you so much. God bless you. i just like to add, you know, I have to say kudos to the directors, the families, everybody that makes this happen year in and year in. I just can't believe the stretch that you guys have had. It's amazing. It's year after year. I know when I was in high school, I played basketball, believe it or not. And, you know, a couple years the team was good. Then it was rebuilding years. And with the band, it just seems like year after year, it's unbelievable. So... It's really good to have you guys here. Congratulations to go out of state and to especially Florida and bring home the money and the trophies is unbelievable. And you make your township really proud and you put us on the map. So congratulations. As, as a former band parent, uh, I know all the hard work that you put in, you know, Days and nights, you're out on the Ed Oval with the, the lights shining on you when it's dark out. So there's a lot of, a lot of hard work that goes into this, and a lot of support from your parents and your family and the music boosters. So uh, congratulations again. I'm going to bring up Mr. Carnicella. Can you say a couple words? I'd also like to have uh, our superintendent, Dr. Julie Glazer, come up as well. We have a resolution that we're going to read tonight. Okay. Oh, that's a little bit better. So, just wanted to let everyone know we are actually going to do a. Uh, a presentation ourselves um, this Monday at our next scheduled board meeting and uh, we're gonna ask the commissioners as well to please join us if you can um, we couldn't be more proud I mean we really are this is amazing um, I know last year we were working on band uniforms I know we didn't have them this year but I'm hopeful that when we do get them you're gonna have a three-peat and that we're gonna do great things again um, I know I heard from some of the parents that they were concerned that maybe that you know we were concerned whether we were gonna be as competitive as we thought we would be down there and we nailed it. I didn't expect anything less. It's a great group of kids. It's a great group of parents. We have great leadership. And uh, hopefully we continue everything that we, we've been doing in this district. You all make us proud with everything that you guys do. And we really, really appreciate that. I'm just glad that I got to be there with you. It was cold and wet. And you guys were amazing. And, and I don't need to say much more. I got to speak to you all down in Jacksonville. I couldn't be any prouder. And I'm looking forward to everything that comes next. And I also just wanted to thank, we had some coordination tonight that uh, the students came back. Uh, the police department was able to coordinate an escort that brought our kids back into Nutley. Um, I know myself, as well as uh, our, one of our trustees, Brenda Sherman, was out there in the bitter cold. And I will tell you that the temperature did go up when that bus came down with the police lights. Um, the kids were in the bus with their, with their phones out, videotaping. We had sparklers. We had signs. We were in the middle of the street. We've done everything wrong, by the way. Everything we did wrong. We blocked the street ourselves. We didn't need police once they got to the high school. Um, but it was, a, it was just a memorable moment. And I'm, and I'm hopeful and I'm, and I'm thankful that we've had the opportunity to be a part of it. And I, and I hope that you had the same appreciation that we felt knowing that you guys did such a wonderful job down in Florida. Okay? And uh, we do have a resolution that I'm going to read. It's a long one. A lot of whereas. So just bear with me. Recognition of the Nutley Marching Band and Color Guard for winning the Tournament of Champions at the Tax Layer Bowl competition. Whereas Nutley High School Marching Band and Color Guard competed in the Tax Layer Bowl Tournament of Champions in Jacksonville, Florida in December 2017. And whereas the Marching Band and Color Guard won caption awards for best percussion Best Color Guard, Best Music, Marching and Maneuvering, and Overall General Effects, and whereas the Marching Band and Color Guard won Best Overall for Group 2A, and whereas the Marching Band and Color Guard won $10,000 and the honor of performing live at the Tax Slayer Bowl pregame show, and whereas the Nutley High School Marching Band and Color Guard competes against the most successful and respected programs in both the United States and abroad, 
exposing our students to the type of competition that forges character, teamwork, and determination. And whereas by participating in the program, Nutley Band and Guard members learn to balance a variety of responsibilities, maintaining the highest level of academic achievement while committing their physical and mental endurance to a strenuous training and competition. Whereas these students have gone on to find success in premier colleges and universities, both in the classroom and in competition, and whereas the program continues to impact our students so positively that alumni and their children have returned to the program to play, march, coach, and contribute to our district as staff members, teachers, and administrators, and whereas the Nutley High School Marching Band and Color Guard has benefited from the unwavering support of the Board of Education, the Board of Commissioners, and the Nutley Music Boosters. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Education of Nutley Public Schools in the Township of Nutley, County of Essex, State of New Jersey, recognize and congratulate the commitment of the Nutley Marching Band and Color Guard for this competition and renew its unwavering commitment to support the program and its continued success in the future. Thank you again. And let's have one more round of applause for our... Our children, thank you. Right. Thank you, uh, Mr. Carnicella and Dr. Glazer. Mr. Maiello, you want to come up and say a couple words? Sure. Well, first. First, I'd like to say thank you for having us out. Um, you know, I, I always say that Nutley is a really special place. Uh, it kind of was the, was the perfect storm when I came here 14 years ago, where you were looking for someone that, that wanted to achieve big and great things. Um, you know, what we do here between Music Boosters and the town is just truly amazing. It's, it's a partnership that just doesn't happen. And I know this because, you know, the band director world is a very small world, so I'm good friends. I, well, I've been around forever, so I'm good friends with a lot of other band directors in northern New Jersey. And these things just don't happen by themselves. They don't happen in isolation, and they don't happen in any other place. So I, I would like to extend, if you guys wouldn't mind, please, uh, standing up and giving a big round of applause to your parents and all the council members, because without their support, this could never happen. So please, thank you. Thank you, and thank you, Mr. Maiello. We have uh, proclamations, and uh, we're going to take a picture. So if we can get all the kids up here, take some pictures. <laughs> Absolutely. And again, thank you guys very, very much for tonight. And, and you, Mr. Maiello.
You guys are all welcome to stay and uh, if you want. Sure. Madam Clark, you almost ready? Madam Clerk. Madam Clerk, minutes. Yes, Mayor. We have a uh, Board of Commissioner meeting minutes for December 5th, 2017 and December 19th, 2017. I need a motion. I have a motion for the past Move minutes. It. Move it. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. We have executive session minutes for January 2nd, 2018. I need a motion. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. It's the executive minute. Okay. Madam Clerk, I'd like to change my, uh, my vote to abstain. I was absent excused. Thank you. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Correspondence? Yes, Mayor. The Knights of Columbus uh, Holy Family Council has submitted a letter requesting permission to hold 
a raffle drawing on Sunday, April 29, 2018 at 1.05 p.m. at Holy Family Church, 20 Brookline Avenue in Nutley. I need a motion. Move it. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petrarco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. The Nutley Junior Raider Booster Club has submitted a letter requesting permission to hold a raffle drawing on Sunday, February 11th, at two, uh, 2018, from 3 p.m. to 7, uh, 7 p.m. during their beefsteak event at the Nutley Parks and Recreation. I need a motion. Move it. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. I'm sorry. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. The Nutley Elks. Uh, number 1290 has submitted an application for a social affair permit for their St. Patrick's Day Parade celebration on March 3, 2018, from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. at 242 Chestnut Street. You need a motion? Move it. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. St. Mary's has submitted an application for a social affair permit for their Mardi Gras event on Saturday, February 10, 2018, from 6 p.m. to 11, uh, 11 p.m. at 17 months Senior Owens Place. Move it. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. And that's it for communications. Reports. Uh, Commissioner Tucci? Yes, I have a shade tree report for the month of December 2017. Commissioner Evans. I have a code enforcement uh, uh, department report for the year uh, 2017. And I have a public works reports August through December. Um, let's go to bills. Yes, Mayor. Bill list for Tuesday, January 16, 2018. Public affairs, $91,637.50. Revenue and finance, $3,317,841.04. Public safety, $17,428.78. Public works, $518,575.74. Parks and public property, $757,170.25. Total payroll, $829,069.60 for a grand total of $5,531,722.91. Move the bills. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. That's it for bills, ma'am. Public comment on agenda items only. Madam Clerk. Yes, Mayor. All persons addressing the Board of Commissioners regarding community concerns should approach the microphone and provide their name and address for the record. Unless further time is granted by the board, each person shall limit their address to three minutes. All remarks to the board and its individual members must be addressed to the mayor. The mayor may defer citizens' comments to the appropriate member of the board. Dialogue between citizens and others addressing the board shall be allowed unless the mayor or presiding officer or the majority of the membership of the board shall determine that the interests of decorum and or the expeditious conduct of municipal business are being adversely affected by such dialogue. Hi, I'm Amy Salento, and I live at 70 Newman Avenue in Nutley. And um, in regards to agenda items, it looks like a contract is being signed with Basso for a collection of commingled recycling. And I'm curious, does that replace the work that's currently being done by both Water and Sewer and the Department of Public Works in terms of collecting recyclables? Yes, it does. Okay, so that will be outsourced? We're going to outsource the commingled pickup, yes. Okay, so does that change anything in terms of staffing, budgeting, overtime? Yes, it does. does oh. As you know, we've been going through a, a detailed review of all our uh, departments, and uh, one of the things we're looking at is how we can reduce and become more efficient and reduce our staffing and our manpower, and that is going to help us reduce our manpower going forward. Thank you for that. Um, so I guess, there, is there a timeline to report that back? Like, will there be some sort of information that's presented here in terms of the net savings or? Well, we have a lot of net savings that Commissioner Evans is going to detail in the coming weeks. So yes, that will be. So thank you so much for that. Um, the part, the um, overtime report, there's a significant amount of overtime for water operations. I mean, 44% of the payroll in this two week period 
was, uh, or overtime was 44% on top of the, the general salary for water operations. Um, that just seems like an extraordinary amount. We of had overtime. 19 water breaks between December 5th and today. Okay, so this is for payroll paid, it looks like uh, January 16th. So I don't know what that timeline is, but I'm assuming that's the December, the last two weeks of December potentially. Right. In terms of, I don't know what the timing is for reporting overtime and then processing and making the payment. Yeah, it would be in that period. Okay, so you might have had 19 during that period or you could have had fewer. So, okay, that's interesting to know. Additionally, the Department of Public Safety, 6% overtime. <clears throat> Seems like there are a number of staff in the Department of Public Safety that could be scheduled accordingly. I mean, I read the police blotter. I'm not sure if the emergencies, you know, warrant significant overtime. It just seems like a lot of money to be paying in overtime. Traditionally, we, I, I, that caught my eye tonight also, and traditionally the police department, I would say we run about 4,000 every two weeks for um, their overtime. However, during the holidays, we put anti-crime units out there. We put uh, extra staffing out. Um, traditionally, we have a lot of burglaries, home burglaries this time of year we put a presence out there on the corners also and i'm very happy to report yes we did spend some money we did not have one house burglary through the holiday season in Nutley because of what we prevented and that you can't gauge you can't put um you know you don't having these guys out there you don't know what you're preventing out there but i think um the facts speak for itself um with it, these anti-crime units and spending a few dollars i'd rather have a safe community and no burglaries then um you know um be conscious of the money you know but this time of year i do have a free hand in it sure i appreciate that um and i'm curious there are things and i understand that police outside duties are usually covering for construction psc and g etc so is there is this expense i mean is it netted out is there income that offsets the police outside duties expense of twenty six thousand eight seventy seven. The outside, the outside assignments when they're doing road construction or anything, what an outside is, assignment is usually outside of this. Okay, it's not in that um, summary that you see there. However, I'm going to check this tomorrow morning because it does seem a little high, and we, I believe, we had an instance where it got mixed in one time or another. But I'm going to um, look into that tomorrow. But as the rule is, is that's done separately. So there's no, I mean, when, they, when you see the road construction going on, or right now public service has a big push, that we've actually had to invite Belleville in to cover all the you know, development that Roach is doing right now, that does not come out of taxpayers' dollars at all. Right, that's what I was assuming. So there's an offsetting uh, income, or it's a pass-through payment, and I guess I'll ask you, Commissioner Petraco, and you, Commissioner Evans. Is this really kind of a pass-through payment? Yes. Okay. And so along those lines, uh, in the water sewer department, they did numerous markouts for PSE&G on many dates. So does PSE&G pay the town of Nutley to do those markouts? They didn't pay us to do the markouts, no. It's part of our duties. Okay. They weren't done on, they were done on town time. And so we're obligated to do that for yes, PSE&G? Yes, we are. Okay. We received some paint. All right, so then I just wanted to say I appreciate the reports. Uh, one or two are double-sided and the rest are single-sided. It would be really great to see cost savings of paper and the environment to just print them double-sided. Thank you. Anybody else like to address the Board of Commissioners on agenda items only? <clears throat> we'll read more 462 Chestnut Street. Mr. Petraco, can you explain the heat you can yeah, what would you like to know about it? What, what is it? E-ticketing, we started um, when John Holland was still the chief here. It's really just an electronic form of ticketing. Um, we do outsource that. Um, it's, that is a revolving door, how we do that as far as the money collected, the fee that we pay. We budget for it, but we get reimbursed for that. You're very welcome. So all, else, it, all it is is electronic ticketing. Anybody else like to address the Board of Commissioners on agenda items only? Seeing none, uh, let's, any Board of Commissioner <coughs> announcements? 
Just, just one, Mayor, if I might. Uh, <coughs> unfortunately, I was not able to attend the first meeting uh, in January, so I just want to wish everyone a very happy and healthy New Year. Anybody else? Thank you, Commissioner. Ordinance introductions. Commissioner Petraco. I'm sorry, I didn't have my mic on. And traffic, particularly Article 5. And um, this is um, yield to intersections. Um, this is an ordinance introduction for Hope Street to add a stop sign on an intersection. After I move this ordinance be passed to second reading and advertising that we sell together with the notice required by law, and that the further consideration of said ordinance for final passage by the Board of Commissioners to be held at its second reading on, is it January 25th? Correct, Madam Clerk? February 20th. Why is that the date you have on there? February 20th. You know what? I got to get a different power of glasses. You're correct. February 20th, 2018. I have um, moved the ordinance. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. M Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Ordinance uh, public hearings. Commissioner Evans? Yes, thank you. Uh, I have a public hearing tonight on an ordinance that was introduced on December 19th uh, relating to the digitizing uh, and archiving of records in the Code Enforcement Department. Uh, the amount of the ordinance is for $200,000. Uh, it's not new debt. We have uh, canceled uh, uh, old outstanding balances to, uh, to provide the money uh, to, uh, to pay for the, the, the need for this expense. More, more 462 Chestnut Street. Mr. Evans, it's a very technical term what you're doing with the uh, digitalization. It's called vendor lock. Everybody's very aware of it. When you hire your first vendor, who's going to convert that data to some format? Correct. And that format may not be able to be transferred if we decide to change vendors where they go to business and buy a different company. Are you going to have the data converted to uh, a universal where it can be changed at any time? So my understanding is yes. Uh, the vendor we're using is under state contract, and the format fits with spatial data, which is the main system that we use in the town. So yeah, I, I appreciate the, the concern about uh, having the risk of having to do this again if we did it, but we're, we're guarded against that's, that. That's very, that's very I, I appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate that. So, so it will be? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else like to be heard on ordinance number 3378? Seeing none? Closed public hearing. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Move the ordinance. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Resolutions. Commissioner Rogers. Resolution number 11-18 is to proclaim February 2018 as National Health Health National Heart Health Month. So moved. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Yes. Whereas bids for the Park Avenue monopole co-location lease were received and open on November 30, 2016, and whereas a bid was received from New York SMSA Limited Partnership doing business as Verizon Wireless, one Verizon Way, Basking Ridge, New Jersey, and whereas New York SMSA Limited Partnership doing business as Verizon Wireless was the most responsible bidder for a lease of a portion of Block 9701, Lot 4, located at Park Avenue Township of Dutley, in co-location at the monopole of various equipment, and whereas Verizon was awarded a contract by the Township of Nutley through resolution number 2717, and whereas the parties mutually agree to cancel the contract due to the terms and conditions of the contract being non resolved. Now, therefore, be resolved that the Mayor and Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley County, Bessex State, New Jersey, are hereby authorized to rescind said contract. I move the resolution. Move it. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Traco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. 
Whereas Township of Melville issued resolution number 169.17 on August 15, 2017, stipulating a bid opening date of October 26, 2017 at 3 p.m. prevailing time for the Park Avenue cellular antenna installation, and whereas the bid opening date was extended to February 14, 2018 by the Township of Nutley to resolution number 256-17. And whereas the Township of Nutley desires to cancel the bid, now therefore be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley County of Essex State of New Jersey that the Township Clerk is hereby authorized to cancel the bid for the Park Avenue cellular antenna installation. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. <coughs> <clears throat> Commissioner Evans, did I skip you? Aye. <laughs> Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Whereas sealed bids were re received for tree removal service on January 10, 2018 in the Township of Nutley, and whereas Dujet's Tree Experts, 54 Notch Road, Woodland Park, New Jersey, was the low bidder for the items listed below, tree sizes ranging from 9 to 15 inches all the way up to uh, 36 inches plus. All right, and whereas the contract does not exceed $40,000 from account 8 one 512 200 and funds have been certified by the Chief Financial Officer, said certification being attached to this resolution, now therefore be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of Township of Nutley County of Essex State of New Jersey that a contract for tree removal services be awarded to Dujet's tree experts. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers? Aye. Commissioner Tucci? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Mayor Scarpelli? Aye. Be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners, Township of Nelton, the County of Essex, State of New Jersey, that the Township Clerk B, and she is hereby authorized to advertise for sealed bids for alterations of an existing restroom to be made into an ADA accessible restroom for the Nutley Police Department. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners, Township of Nutley, County of Essex, State of New Jersey, that sealed bids shall be due on Wednesday, February 21st, 2018, at 3 p.m., addressed in Municipal Clerk, Nutley Township Hall, 1 Kennedy Drive, Nutley, New Jersey, at which time they will be publicly open and read in the Commission Chambers, 3rd Floor, Township Hall, at 3 p.m. prevailing time. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. That's all I have, Mayor. Commissioner Evans. Thank you, Mayor. Whereas 48 colon 419 local budget law provides that where any contracts, commitments, or payments are to be made prior to the final adoption of the 2018 budget, temporary appropriations may be made for the purposes and amounts required in a manner and time therein provided. Whereas the date of this resolution is within the first 30 days of 2018, whereas the total appropriation in the 2017 budget, less appropriations made for capital improvement fund, debt service, and public assistance are as follows. The current fund, $48,507,549. For the water utility, $4,501,000. $501,005, whereas 26 and one quarter percent of the total appropriation in 2017 budget, less the appropriations for capital improvement, debt service, and public assistance in said budget would equal for the current fund $12,733,231.61, and for the water utility $1,181,513.81. Now, ther therefore, be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nolly that the following temporary appropriations be made and that a certified copy of this resolution uh, transmitted to the uh, Chief Financial Officer for her record uh, for the accounts uh, and distribution that is shown in the resolution. So moved. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Whereas New Jersey Statutes 48 colon 419 provides that where debt service is to be paid prior to the 2000, paid in 18 prior to the time of the final adoption of the 2018 budget, a temporary appropriation should be made for the amount of debt service in the manner and time therein. The date of this resolution is subsequent to December 20th, 2017, and the debt service will become due during the first six months of 2018. Now, therefore, be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the uh, Township of Nully that the following temporary appropriations be made. In the current fund, interest on bonds, $32,250. Uh, the uh, Green Acres uh, loan, uh, $9,000 for principal, $4,000 for interest for total current fund debt of $48,250. In the, uh, uh, operating, the water operating uh, account, uh, the uh, loan fund, for the NJEIT loan, 
$2,206 with trust interest of $7,873 for a total debt service of $33,079. So moved. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petrago. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Whereas RS 54467 permits the governing body of each municipality to fix the rate of interest to be charged for non payment of taxes or assessments subject to any abatement or discount for late payment of taxes provided by law. Whereas RS 54467 has been amended to permit the fixing of said uh, rate of 8% per annum on the first $1,500 of delinquency and 18% per annum on any amount in excess of $1,500. Now, therefore, be resolved by the Board of Commissioners, one, that the taxpayer, the tax collector is hereby authorized and directed to charge 8% per annum on all taxes becoming uh, delinquent after the due date, uh, subsequent, uh, subject to any abatement or discount for the late payment of taxes. It's effective January 1st, uh, 2018, uh, for quarterly tax payments made by cash check or money order, which shall, shall have a 10-day grace period. Any payments not made in accordance with Section 2 of this of this resolution shall be charged interest from the due date as set forth in section one of the of the resolution. So moved. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nully that the Treasurer B and Chief is hereby authorized to refund overpayment of water charges in the amount of five thousand thirty three dollars and fifty eight cents for block ninety seven oh one Lot 3, qualifier C0001. So moved. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Whereas uh, RS 48 colon 5 17 allows for the cancellation of property tax credits or delinquent amounts in the amount of $10 or less, whereas the governing body may authorize the tax collector to process without further action on their part any cancellations of property tax credits or delinquencies in of less than ten dollars now there therefore be resolved by the board of commissioners the township of Nelly that the tax collector is hereby authorized to cancel property tax credits or delinquent amounts in amounts less than ten dollars so moved second commissioner rogers aye commissioner tucci aye commissioner evans aye commissioner petraco aye mayor scarpelli aye thank you mayor commissioner petraco this next resolution i'll just read by title it's um, number seven dash eighteen this is the ticketing which I explained before. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. I'm sorry. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Um, resolution 8-18, whereas the township has determined that certain property no longer certain property are no longer needed for public use whereas the local unit technology pilot program and study act authorizes the sale of surplus pro personal property no longer needed for the public use through the use of an online auction service and whereas the township of Nully intends to utilize the online auction services propertyroom.com and whereas the sales are being conducted pursuant to the division local Government services, local finances, notice 2008-9 and 2008-21R. Now, therefore, it be resolved by the Board of Commissioners, Township of Nulli County of Essex, State of New Jersey, <clears throat> that one township is hereby authorized to sell surplus personal property at an online auction website entitled propertyroom.com. Two, the terms and conditions of the agreement entered into the propertyroom.com and the Township of Nulli are available at propertyroom.com in the township clerk's office, and three, a certified copy of, of the within resolution be forwarded by the township clerk to the following chief of police and chief financial officer. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. <clears throat> Whereas the Nutley Police Department desires to utilize the Police pistol range facilities of the Barrow North Arlington Police Department have in its principal officers at 214 Ridge Road in the Hackensack Meadowlands, North Arlington, New Jersey, in the amount not to exceed $2,000 for one year beginning January 1st, 2018 through December 31st, 2018. And whereas funds are available from account number 8 01 308 
Dash 209 have been certified by the Chief Financial Officer said certification being attached to this resolution. Now, therefore, be, be resolved by the Board of Commissioners Township of Nolly County of the State of New Jersey that the Mayor and the Township Clerk be and are hereby authorized to enter into an agreement with the Borough of North Arlington for use of the police pistol range for the period of January 1st, 2018 through Jan December 31st, 2018. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. That's all I have. Whereas raffle applications have been received from the following organizations, Knights of Columbus number 14712, Holy Family Council, license number 1-18, offer of this merchandise raffle to be held Sunday, April 29, 2018. Nutley Junior Raider Booster Club, license number 218, on-premise 50-50 cash raffle, and license number 318, on-premise merchandise raffle, to be held Sunday, February 11, 2018. Whereas the applications have been reviewed and approved by the Municipal Clerk and the Police Department, now, therefore, it be resolved by the Board of Commissioners Township of Nutley County of Essex State, New Jersey, that the aforementioned licenses are approved and the municipal clerk is authorized to issue the raffle license. So moved. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Whereas bids for the collection service of commingled recycling material were received and opened on December 13, 2017, whereas a bid was received from Gator Recycling Company 278. 278-282 West Rail Railway Avenue, Patterson, New Jersey, whereas the township has determined that the bid by Gator Recycling Company does not conform to the requirements of the bid specifications and is therefore non-compliant. Now, therefore, it is resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley County of Essex, New Jersey, that the bid by Gator Recycling Company be rejected. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Where has been for the collection of service of commingled recycling material received and opened on December 13, 2017? Whereas a bid was received from F. Basso Jr. Rubbish Removal, 55 93 South 20th Street, Irvington, New Jersey. And whereas F. Basso Jr. Rubbish Removal was the most responsible bidder. And whereas the contract shall be for the service option of one with a contract term of one year with an option for two one year extensions at the same price of, uh, subject to availability of, uh, availability of funds in the subsequent annual budget. The award solely at the township discretion to commence on or about February 1st, 2018. Is where F. Basso Jr. Rubbish Removal submitted a proposal for the collection and hauling of commingled recycled material as per bid specifications in the amount of $169,450, whereas the funds are available from account number T15-905903 in the amount of $169,450 and have been certified that Chief Financial Officer said certification be attached to this resolution. Now, therefore, it be resolved by the Board of Commissioners Township of Nutley County of Essex, New Jersey, that a contract be awarded to F. Basso Jr. Rubbish Removal Incorporated not to exceed $169,450, and that the Mayor and Township Clerk are hereby authorized to enter into and sign said contract for the Township of Nutley and move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Whereas bids for the 2017 acceptance of recycling vegetative waste to include leaf and grass clippings were received and opened on December 14, 2016. Whereas the term of the contract should be for one year for the award date with an option for two year, one year extensions at the same price and or agreed upon pre stated decrease in subject to availability of funds in the subsequent annual budget. Whereas the term of the contract shall be extended for one additional contract year beginning January 1st, 2018 through December 31st, 2018. And with the same price option subject to availability of funds in the subsequent annual budget. Now, therefore, be resolved by the Board of Commissioners Township of Nutley County of Essex that a contract be awarded to S. Rotundi and Sons not to exceed $71,000, and that the Mayor and Township Clerk are hereby authorized to enter into and sign said contract. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Where is bids for Hancock's Avenue Improvement Union to Passaic Avenue were received and opened on Wednesday, October 12, 2016, whereas Stanzi Al Construction, Bluefield, New Jersey, was the low bidder, whereas the amount of the township have entered into a contract with Stanzi Al for the amount of $155,774.80, and whereas change order number one has been authorized for a decrease in the amount of $3,491.66 to be credited to the Essex County Community Block Grant account T19909901 for a total contract price of $152,283.14. Now, therefore, it be resolved by the Board of Commissioners 
Township of Nutley County of Essex State of Jersey that change order number one is attached as a change from the contract previously made by the Township of Nutley with Stinzi Alcon Construction and the project known as Hancock's Avenue Improvement Union Avenue Spasek Avenue are hereby authorized and approved to move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. This is resolution 2118, resolution of the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley, authorizing the engagement of Inglesino, Webster, Washashala, and Taylor as counsel for the Township of Nutley concerning litigation related to the redevelopment of the former Hop on the Roche campus. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Thank you. Commissioner Aye. Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of Township of Nutley County of Essex State, New Jersey that the township clerk is hereby authorized to advertise for seal bids for the 2017 Community Development Block Grant Roadway Improvement Project to include Princeton Street, Hunt Place, Bayard Street, and also Witherspoon Street Roadway Improvement Project in the Township of Nutley to receive on behalf of the Board of Commissioners and Commission Chambers, Township Hall, 1 Kennedy Drive, Nutley, New Jersey, on Wednesday, February 14, 2018, at 3 p.m. prevailing time, at which time they will be open and read and move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. That concludes the business portion of our meeting. Madam Clerk. Yes, Mayor. All persons addressing the Board of Commissioners regarding community concerns should approach the microphone and provide their name and address for the record. Unless further time is granted by the Board, each person shall limit their address to five minutes. All remarks to the Board and its individual members must be addressed to the Mayor. The Mayor may defer citizens' comments to the appropriate member of the Board. Dialogue between citizens and others addressing a Board shall be allowed unless the Mayor or Presiding Officer or the majority of the membership of the Board shall determine that the interests of the quorum and the, and the expeditious conduct of municipal business are being adversely affected by such dialogue. Anybody would like to address the Board of Commissioners this evening? Penny Landry, 135 Lake Cloud Drive. Uh, at the last meeting, it was um, noted by Commissioner Evans that we were moving to something called the zero based budget process. Is there an explanation for the change in the budgeting process? The budgeting process is, uh, follows the state guidelines uh, for, uh, under the law that we have to do that. The zero base approach basically says it's not about just looking at the money that we had. Yes, can you hear me now? So when you I hit the button, um, when you do a zero base approach, it's not about just looking at the money that you have in the account. It's about actually going back fundamentally to say, what do I need? So as if I had a zero balance and that I was actually going to determine fully what was the money that was necessary to spend that th in that year. And so it's just a fundamental way of looking at budgeting to make sure that you craft an efficient budget. And you had said at the last meeting that you had um, reduced the budget by, I think, two million, and there was still uh, half a million to go. Have, Roughly, have we yeah. Made the any potential in <coughs> increase uh, for 2018 in the budget uh, was uh, almost three million dollars, and we had moved uh, to a point where we have, have made adjustments to reduce that amount to two million by two million four which left us roughly $600,000 left to address, which we're still working, on. still working on. And have we applied again for 2018 for transitional aid, and do you anticipate any transitional aid, and how I, much? Uh, that's just a variable right now. Uh, we have to make application. It's, it, the applications are due by the end of February, uh, given the timing, and then uh, we won't hear, as, we, as consistent with prior years, we won't get a determination uh, of what our aid will be probably until the May June time frame. May June to find yeah, out. Yeah, we'll consistent get with the year. Aid. Yeah. So you have no anticipate. I mean, it was 5.5, and then last year it was 3.5. Do you anticipate any aid from the state um, ongoing? For the absolutely, road? absolutely. I, I anticipate the aid as to the amount of the aid that still has to be negotiated. Okay. All right. And then um, you had also said, and I know that Superintendent Glazer had reached out to you about doing a joint meeting with the um, superintendent and yourself, a town hall for the people who were interested in the budgeting process and better understanding the process, that a joint uh, public meeting be held. Have you uh, spoken with the superintendent about scheduling that meeting? We are in discussions. 
You're in discussions. Do you yes. anticipate it will happen um, before the 2018 budget? I, I'm still talking with her about what she wants to accomplish because I'm not, not fully clear yet. Uh, my understanding at this point is that uh, she would like to hold a session to explain to the public the different rules that apply to the school board under uh, the school district budgeting rules versus the municipal uh, budgeting rules. It's not, from my understanding, it's not about talking about the budget for 2018, just the differences in the rules. In, in 2015, 2016, I had made requests that the Board of Commissioners schedule minimally uh, two town hall meetings a year uh, for input outside of the Board of Commissioners meetings, um, just more of a town hall open forum. And I would once again like to make that request that in the year 2018, uh, at least two town hall meetings for public input on all issues be scheduled. Thank you. Anybody else like to address the Board of Commissioners this evening? Hi, Amy Salento, 70 Newman Avenue. And um, I have a number of uh, comments and questions. So in the water sewer report from November and December, there's a mention of started fixing the parking lot by Chickalinis. Um, I know that in previous meetings there has been money allocated to have uh, an outside service do a study on what to do with the Chickalini property. And there was a timeline, I'm sorry I did not uh, get my hands on that specifically, but is there a date when there will be a report presented on what to do with the Chickalini property? Mr. Genetapo, you want to that? Sure. The there's no, there's no calendar uh, in terms of a schedule yet. We're working with the planners to um, kind of repurpose that, at least on a temporary basis, until we know how we're going to develop it. So we're, that's part of the process was to clean up the parking lot and to come up with some ideas. And we're working with the planners on that right now. We, ha we don't have anything definitive, but we are working with them. Okay, so when you say the planners, are you referencing the outside uh, company that we've hired? Yes. Or are you talking about no, other No, I'm talking planners. about topology. Okay, so we don't have a timeline, and we don't, and, but we know that there have been some repairs already made in anticipation of a temporary use? I, I'm not sure what the repairs were for, so I can't speak to that, but I know the parking lot and cleaning it up and getting it in order is part of the overall plan, and I think we're going to be meeting with them shortly to talk about more specifics. Okay, thank you. So in relation to that, um, at the last meeting there was a request that the master plan be reviewed and that it be reviewed in a town hall form, maybe similar to what Penny was just suggesting. And um, I'm wondering, is there a timeline for that? The master plan the master plan is The master plan by, uh, by law, it has to be reviewed every 10 years. So I the last one was law. 2012. Right. So, so there's, no, there's no thought of doing no, an interim review? I mean, there's, it's there's 2018. There's no thought at this point, no. Okay. So um, along the lines with the planning board, it's my understanding that the public comment section of planning board meetings are limited to agenda items. Um, it seems like there's no open public hearing for non-agenda items at the planning board. And it doesn't seem like in compliance with the Open Public Meetings Act. I have to look at the agenda and what's done on that. If you could, because it's been consistent in the last few agendas that have been posted online, that it is limited to items pre being presented that evening. Thank Mr. you so much. Mr. Jen Temple, can you address that with Mr. Kazira? Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Um, I was not at the last Board of Commissioners meeting, and it was a little hard to hear, but I think Commissioner Evans, you mentioned something to the effect of we're trying to keep people employed. So I'm not clear if that's related to this revision in the budget plan, and, and you're just trying to balance employment. Or, you know, I wasn't quite clear. I mean, unemployment in the state is at 4.9%. Um, it's just slightly above the U.S. rate of 4.1%. It's on par with New York City. So I wasn't quite sure what that was referencing. Uh, I'd just say that again. I didn't quite hear your first part. Oh, I'm not really clear. Um, from the last meeting, you had mentioned something to the effect of we're trying to keep people employed. But I couldn't hear everything that you said, so I wasn't sure what that meant. Is yeah. that related to town employees or? I, I'm, I'm not, the context of that, I don't recall. Uh, so I'd have to go back and review the minutes so that I would better understand and be able to answer your question. Okay, so just circling back to when I spoke just before uh, in this meeting tonight, you did mention that it looks like there might be some staff reductions in terms of you know outsourcing jobs, et cetera. So 
you know, I guess that will be revealed with the budget. Uh, that's correct. Okay, thank you so much. Um, additionally, uh, I know there was a mention at the last meeting from Commissioner Petraco about the numbers of fires are increasing. Um, along the lines of transparency, it would be great if we could get reports like we got for the shade tree department and the water department. It's like, how many fire calls were there? I mean, if you read the police blotter, it leads you to believe, thankfully, not, you know, there aren't that many. But it would be really helpful from a citizen's perspective to see similar types of reports in terms of fire calls, police calls, et cetera. But help us understand over time. Well, I, I mean, it's the second time you brought up overtime. Uh, public safety overtime has been held to a minimum, um, for sure. And I can furnish you that information at any time. Um, you know, when you look at this cycle and you say, well, and I could kind of see your body language, well, it's $28,000 for, you know, for this pay period. That's not the norm in public safety. Um, like I said, we do that, you know, through the holiday season because of the uptick in house burglaries, stolen packages, and so forth. And I'm very proud <clears throat> of the police officers for preventing a lot of stuff here. Um, as far as the reports for the fire department and, you know, the police department, I, I, I could work on some of that. I could tell you, you know, fires are um, contagious, I'll say. You know, you have three or four, we had a string of three or four fires this year, and then, you know what, it gets a little quiet, but it's, it's um, you know, definitely a need that I think that we need in the town. Um, our fire department responds anywhere in the town in two minutes. <clears throat> I think it works well with the hybrid system here that we have um, volunteers. But if a report is what you like, a report is what I'll furnish for you. Thank all the, you. All the calls of service I could put on there um, as well. Did you want the police department or? I, I think it would be really helpful and very interesting to the citizens. I mean, we have a very safe town and you have an effective department. And Thank you. It would be great to see, you know, really what's happening. And, and not just related to overtime, but truly, you know. Yeah, I'll tell you, I mean, even when I became a commissioner back in 2008, your eyes will open. You can't, we won't believe how busy it is in, you know, in both those departments. If, even with the fire department doing inspections and life hazards and fire prevention and the police calls are incredible. And what we drag into this police department would make your hair stand up. So thank God we still have good buffers out there, as like Bloomfield, Belleville, even Clifton and Lyndhurst. But I have to tell you, you know, public safety is worth the investment in my eyes, and I live here too. You know, you don't hear about stores getting robbed and, you know, too much stuff. So you never know what they're preventing. Is, oh, is I agree that. with you. And I'm saying it, it would be a nice uh, public relations story in, in terms of saying everything that is being prevented. It would be fantastic to hear. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Anybody else like to address the Board of Commissioners this evening? Um, actually, I had in mind to echo some of the statements of the prior speaker uh, regarding the master plan. Um, I do understand that it uh, literally doesn't need to be reviewed until 2022, I guess it is. But um, given the current situation, which includes uh, the development of Lawn Prairie, the most property, uh, the chicken wing property, as well as sort of the, um, the addition of a lot of multi-family dwelling units across the town to sort of gun a lot of people's attention. I would just encourage this chamber to um, not wait until 2022 to review that. I think that we're at an important threshold in the future of the town right now. And I would encourage you to review that sooner rather than later and to open that process up to uh, the public to provide some transparency to town hall meetings, um, some input from the public. Thank you, Mr. Brown. Anybody else like to address the Board of Commissioners this evening? We have more 462 Chestnut Street. Mr. Scarpelli, I have two questions tonight, one from Mr. Petrarco and one from Mr. Evans. I um, received open response to Mr. Evans. Would you like to see him? There is more of the cell phone bills in town. And on here, you clearly see this double billing with the same number of peers on two separate bills. It happens twice. I called at and and they explained it to me. And it seems to be that there's something wrong with the way it's being done. 
and I had these on other ones. I just printed these out. What, what's your point, Mr. Moore? What's wrong? Why don't you tell us what, what's wrong? I just, I, I thought I In other words, what did they say was wrong? They said that they looked at bills, because I had faxed these over to them, because I asked for an opinion on it, and they said that one number appeared twice on two separate bills. Who did you speak to at at and I'd like to I'm call I'm not going to tell you my sources. Well, how, how, how do you expect us to you? wait? How you do you like expect us to papers? I'll take your paper in a second. Okay. How do you expect us to address it if we, if you won't give me the name? I, first? I would look at the paper, and I would look at the telephone number. Thank you. And it seems to be quite evident that it happens on more than one occasion. This is just the three I printed off of these. I'll take a look at it, Mr. Moore. But if you really are claiming to be helpful. Why don't you give me the name of the person you spoke to so that I can get right to the heart of it instead of wasting time? One of my friends who looked everything up and oh, so you're using one of your so you're using one of your friends at AT and T to check up on Nolly. Okay. Yes, yes, I did. All right. Well, if he's a friend of yours, let him make you a friend of ours. I'm not sure what I want to do. Okay. Mr. Petraco, I have uh, an open response, and apparently we had another accident with a fire truck. I don't. I don't know which one you have. Would you like to see? It? Sure. Do you have a date of it, Mr. Moore? What? The date of the accident? It's all, it's all of it right on there. It's, it's on the, uh, the collision specialist. We, we take it back to a rear truck, a panel, a, a cabinet. You're, you're basing it off of a bill for repair of the truck, correct? It's the place where they said this is an accident. Council, I think I can answer. I could clarify okay, this. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Commission. Yeah. Was I, that an accident? Only commission, I've been dealing with a lot of these OPA requests, so I, I may have... Some mixed knowledge, them, but maybe not all of it. Mix them up, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> um, I believe I could definitely give you a precise answer. Unfortunately, we had, um, I think, in one of the volunteer houses, someone backed into um, the fire station. To, you know, with these trucks, you have to understand, Mr. Moore, these firehouses were built over 100 years ago, I think it's fair to say. And these trucks have gotten bigger and bigger and when they're in entering or exiting in a hurry so i believe this is the one that we had an issue with with um a volunteer backed into something um actually the firehouse okay. so I, I think that's the one but i could give you a better answer that's the one that um i recall off the top of my head my pleasure yeah anybody else like to address the board of commissioners this evening have a motion to close the public portion of the meeting. Move it. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Before we break, I, uh, you know, the fire department was brought up today, and I was in ShopRite on Sunday, and one of the workers came up to me, and he lives near the corner of Beach and Bloomfield, and he said he saw the smoke, and within seconds, it seemed like the fire department was there. He said, and he watched from his window, and the precision that went from the time they got there, everybody knew what they were doing, and they were able to save that house, and he was most, most impressed they saved his house. So I wanted to, he, he asked me if I'd pass that on to you, and I wanted to pass that on to you, Commissioner. Thank you so much. I appreciate the compliment. We have a great staff here in Nutley. Like I said, our, our um, neighboring communities, you know, um, I know they're not what they were when I was growing up here in Nutley and they're having difficulties with, in their public um, safety. I think public safety is an essential service, a well investment because you can't put a price on um, safety. Um, as far as the firemen, Mr. Mayor, you know, I, my store is right over there and I ran over there as well. It's amazing, um, the pay guys, the career guys, the volunteers, how um, they coordinate together, and they really save a lot of structures here in town. Um, I had a business in another neighboring town where it was all volunteer. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I was a professional at triggering the smoke detectors in that place as a false alarm, and I can tell you it was 20, 25 minutes before anybody got to that building. So I think that we strike a good balance here, and um, I think it's money really well spent. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Anybody else? Motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. Commissioner Rogers. Aye. Commissioner Tucci. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Mayor Scarpelli. Aye. Good night, everybody. Time is 9.09.
Sam, are you still 